So, I, and it's, uh, I turn to you just for a moment. The, the number of people crossing the southern border has, uh, uh, the, the, the numbers I, I've got here, the unaccompanied minors, 2019, 75,000, 2020, 37,000. But in the first two years, two months of this year alone, already 15,000 unaccompanied mi uh, minors ha have crossed the border. Is, is this getting out of hand? I mean, yes, what I can tell actually, um, comparing, yes, what the previous administration was doing, uh, which was also drastic changes at the border, uh, you know, to process actually um, the entries of uh, immigrants, uh, was also a big drastic change. And considering what the COVID came into place and also restrictions by the previous administration uh, created that inhuman environment. Uh, but also, uh, after the Biden administration took the office, I think they kind of acted quickly, but without actually coming out with the plans. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I see right now. They're also being criticized because of that. They could reverse the decisions or, uh, or uh, uh, you know, the rules of previous administration, but they have to really think through and come out with the B or C plans in case things doesn't go right. Just, just, the, just the way. If you think that um, since the uh, since the Biden administration took over, they initially started with the Muslim ban, right? They remove it, which is fine. But then they actually removed a couple more, um, you know, uh, rules, and then they were actually striked back by the federal court in Texas, uh, where actually they were uh, the uh, the court was saying that uh, by removing the rule like that, you have to come up with a better plan to say what as an administration you will be doing. And I think after that decision, um, kind of buy the administration back up and that they come up with a new executive rule where they say, you know what, now they're going to review the previous administration, all the you know, rules uh, or regulations they pass and decide which one to keep and not to keep. I think with this, of course, by the administration wanted to show that they wanted to welcome you know, immigrants. But I think the border crisis was a huge one and they had to come up with a better plan in order to uh, not to increase, um, you know, the inhuman treatments at the border. Uh, I'm assuming they didn't think through clearly. Uh, they didn't come up with a better plan where, you know, if you look at the uh, Mallorca's, you know, statements lately since yesterday, you could see that he's blaming the previous administration, Trump administration, by removing established programs, right? So, um, exactly. So the, the, uh, the Trump administration removed things so quickly. Uh, that's why I mean, the Biden administration, I think, needs to be more careful before removing or canceling the, the previous administration rulings or, or, or any other regulations for border security before, uh, before they have to remove those. They have to come up with a better plan and then remove it because uh, right now, like you mentioned, yes, there's like a 15,000 unaccompanied actually children, minors at the border, and they're really in a, a inhuman situation, which I understand, which was created back uh, Trump's administration time and now just became a disaster because I did not thinking about what could happen by just welcoming people right away. Uh, this is why I think they need to come up quickly with a better plan Without criticizing, I think without blaming the previous administration, current administration have to come up with a plan quickly and resolve the issues, make sure those minors are safe, and make sure those that you know, the future uh, incoming people don't come the way it's happening right now. I have sadly this this as I start uh, as I said when I started, this has been so over politicized the, the issue of immigration. It touches so many nerves and um, and for. Sadly, for some, it's a vote winner to, um, to 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 close borders and push the other away. How important do you think it is that Joe Biden managed to get some sort of bipartisan agreements um, in Congress and Senate? Basically, we have to get over to see that what previous administration versus now, or saying that criticizing both or one of them. I don't think it's going to provide a solution to, to this because it's just going to stay more political. Mm -hmm. uh, immigration has been a key political, actually, figure uh, and, and a subject, and especially with the last administration and with the current one as well. Uh, I think in order to get that help, 
where from both sides of the Congress, uh, the Biden administration really have to come up showing that they really want to resolve this issue uh, and starting with starting with the current issues that the country is facing inside, which is uh, like over 11 million actually undocumented people in the U.S. So you have to somehow resolve this issue, not to show this as a kind of, you know, a B plan or result or additional way out to, to future immigrants that they want to come in, right? You need to resolve the current undocumented issues so that way the future immigrants will not see any other options to be able to stay undocumented in the U.S. Uh, I think that without resolving the current undocumented people's issue in the U.S., this will continue. And, and every time you get a person or people you know, crossing the border, they, they're just going to tell, tell themselves, look, even if you don't get asylum approved, we'll just get to disappear and wait for the reform. So you have to somehow come up to tell you know the both side of the you know uh, Congress, look, we have to resolve the current um, the current immigration issues such as DACA to immigrant people, you know, it's just, uh, the young kids, and also uh, more than 11 million people undocumented people situation. Resolve this and resolve it at the same time with what we're gonna do at the border for future actually immigrants that they wanna come in. Um, that way, I think in order to resolve that. They have to somehow show that we're just not gonna, you know, allow people to walk in and to be able to stay in the U.S. That's not a really big solution because there are really people crossing the border that they need help and need a safe place, but there are some that are not really just coming because of the safety problem. So, in order to be able to uh, make sure that you are actually saving and definitely opening the door for people who needs it will be more human way. Uh, but I see the issue here, the Republican side and Democrat side, they're gonna be fighting about what are we gonna do about this? So I think the Biden administration have to come up with a plan, show that we have to resolve the current immigration problem and put this on the side and in the meantime, make sure the border becomes safer. We can't just open the border to everyone. So, you, you know, by just saying that you're opening the border, well, they're saying that it's closed right now. But even if you try to open the border, everyone is just not going to get the support from the Republicans that they want. Right. So it's, it's finding the right balance and finding the right way to gently untie the knot um, so that the, the string becomes whole again. Sadhvi Chaudhary, Ahan Oyman, thank you both so much for joining me for such an interesting discussion. Thank you.